fuck the world, I'ma walk in erection Spit without a thought, we do it reckless You nigga call us texting You say, baby, don't be mad, you know how great it is Don't look in your mouth Hi guys, all right, welcome back to Dream Tarot Capricorn. I'm gonna be doing a new love reading for you. It's gonna be so much fun. Before we get started, guys, yes, you guys just seen the V-Day shop is here at dreamtarot.store. Go check it out. We have so many fun things, so many like little sexy little souvenirs for V-Day. And even if you don't know if you're going to have anyone special for V-Day, then definitely go copy yourself something for yourself because we do have a lot of things for my individuals out there. Really cute, really nice. Go check it out after you watch this video. Link will be in the bio down below. All right. So we're about to do your new love reading. I'm super excited about that. We definitely need to do a new love reading for Capricorn because if I recall correctly, um, I just did a live reading that was like marry, F, or kill for all my signs. And for you, Capricorn, your person wanted to kill you off. <laughs> I'm laughing because I just did Leo and Leo's person wanted to do that as well. So, oh no, they didn't want to kill you off. They wanted to F you. Ooh. So that's not a bad thing, but it's like, what else are we giving after that? You know what I'm saying? So maybe we need some new love options to come through. So we're going to be talking about that option for you in this reading today. We're going to start off with this person's personality or their traits, maybe even their zodiac sign. Then we're going to go into, <clears throat> then we're going to go into where you could possibly meet them. And then we're going to go into um, the signs that you should look out for when you have met this person or when you're about to meet this person, okay? So it's going to be a really well informative and just very fun reading, all right? So I'm about to pull some cards for this person's personality. I'm going to pull nine. So give me a second while I shuffle for you and we get those cards out. Let me take a sip of this coffee. It's so good but it's so hot. I don't know if y'all can see that steam. All right, let's see for my Capricorns, new love for my Capricorns. Give me some cards, new love for my Cappies. Tell me about this person's personality. Tell me their zodiac sign, if you'd be so kind. Anything specific about the new love coming towards my Cappy, please allow it to come out in this reading today. All right, let's see. What comes out, Capricorn? New love for Cappy. Give me some cards, please. New love for Cappy. Let's see. All right, I'm just going to be pulling them. I'm not looking at them yet. We're going to be revealed it at the same time, all right? And I get so excited for this, guys. I don't know why, but I get so excited. It's like very, it's like a lot of anticipation, isn't it? All right, I'm just pulling them. I'm just speaking to you guys as I'm pulling them. I'm not rushing to pull them. I'm pulling them by energy, okay? I hope you guys have been good. I forgot to say that in the beginning of this reading. Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> Been drinking a lot of coffee today because I want to keep the energy really nice and up in all of my reads today that I'm doing. My personal readings that I'm doing, the um, Zodiac readings I'm doing here on YouTube, and even the extended readings. So I'm just trying to keep that good energy up for you guys. All right. Here we go. Last card being pulled right now. Okay. Woo, Cappy. All right. Bottom of the deck says Capricorn. Oh, look at you coming out in your reading. This is interesting because maybe this is just saying this is for you if you're very doubtful, okay? I know my energy can be a little bit much. You could be very well, very well rested right now. You could have just came off of work. You're not into all the rah-rah and here I come acting crazy and you like, I'm about to click off this girl's video because I don't know about this girl, but you need to stay and here's your sign to stay, okay? So I don't care. 
You better stay and listen to all this craziness, all right, if you want to know the juicy details of your new love. Some of you guys also could be attracting a fellow Capricorn. Who knows Capricorn better than a Capricorn, you know? So I don't know if that's like a good vibe or not, but this is coming out for a reason, okay? All right, let's keep it pushing. Sorry, let me take one more sip of this coffee. Y'all probably like, I don't need no more sips of this coffee. First card, Capricorn. We have romantic. Okay, nice. This is a great trait to have because who doesn't want someone who is super romantic um, dating them, you know? This is someone who's going to do things to, you know, please you when it comes to just trying to get your feelings all in, you know, lovey-dovey. This is someone who um, puts a lot of thought behind dates, puts a lot of thought behind what you may like when it comes to gifts or just acts of service. Maybe some of you guys like acts of service because I don't know why I'm saying that, but maybe some of you guys, that's your love language. You're like, oh, I love acts of service. Well, this person puts a lot of thought behind that. I feel like this person just wants to make you smile, wants to please you, and really wants you to feel the love um, through different ways. They're very um, creative when it comes to how they show you that they care, that they love you, that they are falling for you, all of that and above, okay? So that was your first card. Let's look at the second one. Ooh, okay, moving slow, moving slow, okay? So this is someone that you guys are not going to be rushing the process. Um, you guys are not going to be trying to, you know, jump the gun, um, skip ahead. This is like, let's take our time. Let's, you know, there's no rush. If we're going to be together, we're going to be together. If we're not, then we're not. But this is all about like just taking time to really get to know one another and um, not rushing things. Because when you rush things, you can miss some things or you may make mistakes, you know? So I feel like taking it slow may be good for you, Capricorn, but it's also this person's vibe as well. Okay. All right. Let's see. What's the third card coming out here? All right. Clingy mom or dad. So crazy because this did come out for another sign today. I won't say who, but yes, clingy mom or dad. Okay. Now I think that would annoy you <laughs> because I know my Capricorns are very private people and someone who has a clingy mom or dad means that what? They're going to also try to be in your business as well. Like, who is this Capricorn that's coming in here trying to take my shine, trying to take my spot? I'm number one in my child's life, you know? So that could be a little bit too much. Don't like it, okay? But still try to give this person a chance because, you know, maybe some changes are going to happen once Capricorn comes around. Maybe this is why you want to move slow with the person, okay? I don't blame you. So look out for someone who has a clingy mom or dad. It's like, okay, it's giving your mom or dad wants to date you. And I'm going to need y'all to figure that out because I'm not going to be competing. Okay. All right. So that was your third card. Let's go ahead and pull the fourth one. All right. Let's see what this is giving. Ooh, great chemistry. Okay. I know y'all like that one because it's very seldom to meet someone that your chemistry levels is just off the charts. You know, maybe it's sometimes like, okay, we vibe here, but we're not here, there. Like we vibe on like, you know, pop culture. We like the same artists. We like the same music. But when it comes to like finances, we're not here, right? But when you have someone where it just clicks on all levels, it's just a vibe and it's a blessing. And I feel like, you know, this is very rare for a lot of people. But I feel like, especially for you, Capricorn, people don't really you know, mesh with your personality too well. And it's really hard to find someone that you just vibe on all levels. So I really get excited about this one coming out for you. That is really nice. All right, let's keep going. Let's see, what is the fifth card of this person's energy? All right, <clears throat> excuse me. Ooh, all right, once a deeper commitment. Now, what's funny is that I cleared my throat when we're pulling this card. So some of y'all moving slow is moving slow. So, you know, someone may really want a deeper commitment, but it's like, you're going to have to wait or you're going to have to be very patient because I'm someone who doesn't like, not like to miss steps. I like to take my time. I like to scope out the scene. Okay. I like to see what's really popping off before I decide to just commit so deep. And I feel like this person 
It's like, listen, I'm not playing no games. I want that deeper commitment with Capricorn. So at least you know someone's intentions, okay? But this is going to be very interesting to see how you receive this from said person, all right? So there's that. All right, let's see. What's the sixth card? What is the sixth card giving? Ooh, workaholic. Ooh, you met your match, Capricorn. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why is that funny to me? Because you met your match, Capricorn. You met your match. I don't care what nobody says right now. You met your match, Cappy. Workaholic. Now, y'all know about a workaholic or two. You know about that lifestyle very well. Now, this is good if you do feel like you are a Capricorn who is kind of like very knee deep in your work, because this won't be someone who's going to complain or try to deter you or try to... um um distract you from what's important when it comes to your career values or your business values. They're going to be on the same page as giving power couple. And you know, that's going to be really good. But this could also be bad for those of you who are not workaholics and want a little bit more. Sorry, y'all. It's a little itchy right here. Um, want a little bit more of, you know, you may want a little bit more of this person's time. Or if you feel like, you know, this is going to be hard for us to build a connection because we just work too damn much and none of us is telling each other to stop. So it could be a plus or it could be kind of like, you know, for those of you, just depending on what your wants and your needs are. So you have to figure that out. That is up to you, boo. Okay. All right. What is the seventh card? Let's see. All right. Oh my God. Hold up now. Okay. So I did, we have great cook, first of all. All right. But I did Gemini today. I did Leo today and I did um, Capricorn. And guess what? All of y'all got that your new love is going to be a great cook. Hello, what's up with people? I guess because we got TikTok nowadays, we got YouTube. You know, if you don't know how to cook, you just ain't trying. So I guess there's a lot of great cooks out here in, in the dating life, huh? You, Gemini and um, and Leo, may need to um, create a Facebook group of my man and my woman can cook. How about yours? Okay. <laughs> how about yours? Okay. Because mine is cooking. And good looking, period. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know. I think it's the coffee. But let me tell you, if I did not drink my coffee today, I would have been giving y'all low energy. But now I think I'm giving like crackhead energy and I need to like take it back a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to try to take it back. I know you're trying to rest after work. I'm sorry. All right. But great cook, period. Good food is coming your way. Okay. Meal plans on deck, you know? Um, you don't have to buy lunch. You can pocket that money because you are going to work with lunch sent with you in your lunch bag. Okay. This person don't play. They gets down in the kitchen. Okay. So we love that. All right. What's the eighth card? What's the eighth card giving? Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Manly man, girly girl. All right. So you got a manly man or a girly girl or a womanly woman coming towards you, someone who is really strong in their masculinity and very strong in their femininity. All right. So, you know, gender roles could be very important to this person. They like to assert their femininity. They like to assert their masculinity. They like to take on those roles. They like those type of things. They like, you know, the stereotypical manly things. They like the stereotypical womanly things. And that's just their vibe. And that's just who they are. They can't change that. That's just who they are. So that is who's coming your way. So hopefully you like that. You're into that. Hopefully. All right. All right. Because, you know, I know some of y'all are tired of attracting, attracting people who are confused. Okay. Just saying. All right. Last but not least, what's the last one? Ooh, I flipped this one a little bit early. What's the last one, Capricorn? So now I see why your person wanted to F you in the live reading. Great and bad. Bam. That's a good one. Okay, period. So do you like that? What's up with you? Are you smiling right now? Or you could care less? Even those of you who are acting like you could care less, when it comes down for the shills, for the shills, for the skills to be shown, you ain't going to be um, straight faced. You def you're going to be screaming. <laughs> you're going to be doing a lot of different things, convulsing. <laughs> You're going to be doing a lot of different things, okay? So, you know, this is self-explanatory. I don't really have to say. We're going to keep it PG-13 today. But, yeah, all right? So, really great things. Only thing that's kind of like, you know, a little iffy is 
the overbearing mom or father, but it is what it is. You got to take the good with the bad. So with that being said, um, we're going to go ahead and get some more traits. Let's talk more about this person. All right. Which deck am I using for that? All right. This one. All right. Tell me more about this person's personality. Anything else we can touch base on for my Cappies, anything else we can touch base on for my Capricorns when it comes to this new love coming their way? Give me some more personality traits about this person. Tell me more about the type of person that this person is, period, okay? Let's see. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. Did any zodiac signs come out for you guys? I don't think so. But you know what's crazy? The way that my channel is like set up, it's always so weird because I just, the way that I do my readings is just very like intuitive. So I just do who I feel like doing that day. But I try to keep it very sporadic where I'm not doing multiple water signs on one day, multiple fire signs, multiple earth. I try to give a sprinkle of, you know, whoever I can. And I today I'm doing you, Leo, and Capricorn. Sorry, you, Leo, and Gemini. And it seems like you guys have a little bit of y'all energy sprinkled in each other's reading. So I don't remember, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank, but I don't think we pulled any signs for you other than your own sign. But I do feel like a Leo could be coming your way or Gemini. So if you want to go and see, or a Capricorn, because I'm telling you, you're pulling a lot of your traits in this reading, but I feel like someone that is kind of similar to you, and the reason why you guys will have great chemistry is because you guys have a lot of likes and similarities could be coming towards you. But I also feel like maybe a Leo or a Gemini could possibly be coming towards you, possibly more so a Leo. So go check out those videos and see if your energy is pulled in who they're pulling, okay? Anyway, I'm saying that because similar cards are coming out. That's my basis, okay? So we have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. All right. The Eight of Swords is definitely giving that... <clears throat> this per person at times can be very self-loathing. Like they can do things or say things that kind of hold them back. Now, you know what I'm getting that from? And I said this in Leo's reading because I feel like that card came out in the same... Um, on the bottom of the deck at the same point in time in Leo's reading. I feel like someone's parent, their overbearing mom or dad could be holding them back in life just based off of being clingy and overbearing since childhood up into adult. And I feel like someone shows up for other people in their life, like their mom or their dad, but they have failed to show up for themselves. But it's because there's like a, a there's like a vampire, vampiric, energy around them that likes to suck them dry. Not literally. Okay. Um, so I feel like this person can be very self-loathing eight of swords and eight of swords is kind of like repeating, repeating like cycles or repeating, um, like habits or routines that are just not allowing you to move forward in life and elevate in life. Um, and so this might be something that you see of this person and you may have to tell them about themselves or you may help them out of that. Okay. Um, so yeah, I definitely feel that. And I definitely want to tell you about that, but also that eight of swords also is the energy of being so stuck on someone's energy. So when this person meets you, they definitely are going to feel like you're the one they're going to want a deeper commitment. They're not going to want to go out and meet other people or even mingle their energy where they're dating other people with you. Also in the mix, they're going to be eyes set on you and they're not going to want to move forward and try to find something different. They're going to stick with you. All right. Eight of swords. Also, we have the fool card. Okay. Fool card gives that this person is definitely on a new path in life. So thank you, God. Right. Because if they are someone who like kind of repeats cycles, gets stuck in cycles, maybe they're finally ready to break free from that. Maybe they're ready to try to change it up a little bit. Maybe they're ready to tell their mommy or their daddy no for once, you know? So there's something about a new lifestyle, new path, 
new direction that this person's going to be headed in when you meet them. And, you know, it's, it's really refreshing. That's what I'm getting, okay, with the fool. Very refreshing of this person's energy that they're kind of basking out on a journey without the opinion of their mom or dad or without caring about what people think and breaking old cycles. So thank you, right? Because I did feel like when I said, maybe you'll help them out of that, you were like, uh-uh, I ain't helping nobody child. Okay, they're gonna have to help themselves. But I do see that this person is helping themselves, which is beautiful. So you could be meeting this person when they are experiencing just new patterns in their life, new lifestyle, or just new changes, or they're even trying like a new beginning, whatever that means for them. Okay. All right, we have the seven of pentacles for this person's personality. This talks about like this person being very patient type of lover, okay? So they're not even gonna rush you or want to rush you or have the tendency to think that they can rush you. They're gonna be very patient with you. So when things are moving slow, this is not someone who will be butthurt or be hold some hidden animosity. They will be very understanding. They will be patient and they won't be um, fleeting. They're not going to be like, okay, well, I'm going to go try this out over here and then I'll be back and see what this is giving. No, they're going to stick it through. And they are someone who believes that when you're patient in life, good things happen. So by this person being patient with you for whatever that means, whatever that means in your connection, they feel like it's going to be a positive outcome. So they're going to stay down. Okay. Seven of pentacles. Um, Three of Cups. This definitely gives like, especially with that great chemistry coming out for you, um, this definitely gives that you and this person are going to be best friends. Three of Cups is like strong attraction. It's a strong bond. It's also when you have so much fun with this person. Like, it doesn't matter what we're doing. We can stay in for the night. We can go out. We can go to a family, you know, event. We're going to have a ball. I'm going to be laughing. You know, my stomach is going to be cramping because how much I'm laughing with you. We're going to be silly. We're going to do some really fun, entertaining things together. We are going to be talking about the most entertaining things of the night or of the day. It really gives like the cra a crazy best friend type of bond. And it gives heavy attraction as well, like strong attraction. But it's not just physical. It's definitely like chemistry. Okay. So three of cups. All right. We like that a lot. So now we're going to talk about, <clears throat> we're going to talk about where you could possibly meet this person. What deck do I want to use? We're going to use this one. Let me drink this coffee because if I don't, it's going to get cold. And y'all know cold coffee is not the vibe unless you're drinking ice. All right. So where could my Capricorns possibly meet this new love? Where could my Capricorns possibly meet this new love? Where could my Capricorns possibly meet this new love? Give me some cards. Let's see. Wow. This is interesting. This is very interesting. I don't want to bring too much energy of the other videos that I did today in your reading, but when they align, I do feel like it's my duty to speak up on it because maybe that's a reading you want to go watch and it will make sense in due time when you meet this person. So again, you know, I apologize for keep bringing up certain signs that I did, but there's one sign in particular that's really aligning and that's Leo. Okay. And I'll just leave it there and we're just going to focus on you. Okay. Um, five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So <laughs> this is funny because the five of pentacles is like an energy of like abandonment, right? So that's kind of like, hello, like what the, what the F, but, um, it's definitely giving like when you meet this person, there's not a lot of time to chat. There's not a lot of time to get to know one another. One of you is in the dough and out the dough. Okay. So it's like, oh, I'm glad I met you, but yeah, I, I got to go. I'll get your number, but I got to go. It's like, I ain't got time to sit and talk to you. I, I got bigger and better things to do. I'm, I'm supposed to be places right now. 
So that's what it's giving. So it's a very much high and by meeting because I got shit to do. Okay. <laughs> that's what it's giving with that five of pentacles. Okay. Um, let's see what else. We have the six of swords, which is so interesting. Six of swords gives me like memories, right? But it's like, okay, it's like you attribute a certain place to a certain memory. So this is like revisiting somewhere that you used to, that could be your old stomping grounds, but I haven't been there in ages because when I was, when I used to be a frequent, you know, visitor here, I was in a different place in life that necessarily wasn't a good place in my life, right? So say you used to date the hood man. Y'all know what I want to say, the hood N or the hood B. You used to date them because you used to be a little hood yourself. You got a past. And y'all used to go to y'all favorite wing spot that's kind of hood, hood radish, but it is what it is. The food is popping. And it's like, I haven't been there in ages because since I you know, left that relationship or I moved out of that community, I just haven't been back. But today I got an inkling to go there because I want my three piece meal with extra lemon peppers, le lemon pepper sprinkles, that, that hot sauce on the side and give me double fries. And that's what I need. And maybe some hush puppies. Cause you know, the hood spots be having them hush puppies. Um, so you, you like, I have an inkling to go there and you may go there and it's like when you go there, there's a lot of memories associated with some past that just was a very, I won't say dark, but it was not, it's not, it's, you're, you're, you could be very glad you're not in that same place anymore. But, you know, you're just going there, you're in a way better place and you're going there just to vibe out. You know, it, it is what it is. You may meet someone in that kind of predicament. So say you used to live in a certain community and you just didn't have the best memories there and you finally moved out of that community. You may be visiting that community for whatever reason. I don't know what that reason is, but, you know, maybe you have to drive by that place and then you end up stopping to go to the store or you end up stopping to get some food or you have to stop at the bank right there. Something is along the way or something is that you, you're craving that you want to go and chill but in the past, this was attributed to maybe an ex, or this was attributed to when you weren't living right, or maybe this was attributed to when, you know, you was you, you, you know, times were hard. So I definitely feel like there's a past energy that you're revisiting, and then you will be meeting said person. Okay, six of swords. Um, we have the page of cups here for where you'll be meeting this person. I definitely feel like. However, the the meeting goes, it will be so kind, like a kind gesture. So I don't know if like maybe someone drops a receipt or someone drops their phone or someone, you know, is like struggling with some bags. There's like some kind of kind gesture that's being done. You know, this could just be as simple as just opening a door for someone. You know what I'm saying? So there's some kind of like kind, sweetheart kind of like, oh, that was so nice. It's kind of leaving you with that kind of taste in your mouth. Like, damn, that was nice. That was sweet. Oh, that was kind. Oh, that was nice. There's something like that happening with how you'll meet this person, a kind gesture with the page of cups, something that's very mannerable, something that's very kind, sweethearted, something like that. Okay. Then Two of Cups is crazy. It's so crazy, but it's coming out in this reading. And the Two of Cups basically is telling me that this will be like a good little moment where it will feel like I could vibe with this person. I'm interested to keep getting to know this person. It may feel like a mini first date. Like, you know, when you're talking to someone and it's just such a good conversation, you're having a ball and it's like, wow, like I could continue talking to them. But unfortunately, one of you is going to bounce out. You're like, I got to motherfucking go. I don't know what you thought this was, but I got to get out of here. But there is an energy where it's like for that moment in time, it feels like such a faded meaning. It feels deep. It feels soulful. It feels meant to be. And it feels like I can continue talking to you. And it's like when I'm riding out because I had to bounce out on your ass, I'm still thinking about you all the way home. Tamar Braxton. Y'all know that song. Okay, so that's what it's giving. So I hope that was in depth for you guys, for sure. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Let's continue going. We're going to talk about the signs that are going to appear before you, right, right before you meet this person or when you have met this person. So let's talk about it right now. All righty. 
All right, so what are some of the signs that Capricorn should look out for when they're right about to meet this person or when they have already met this person? What are the signs that are going to be coming towards my Cappies in particular when they're about to meet this person or when they have met this person? Give me some cards, please. And thank you. Empress. Okay, Empress. All right, overall in your life around the time that you're going to be meeting this person, things are just really growing for you. Your bank account could be growing and we claim that. Okay, that's that's good. Your bank account could be growing. Um maybe your stomach line is growing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding though because we have another card that's talking about like a little bit of you know. I don't want to say weight gain, but you know. You may notice you're getting a little thick, okay? But there's nothing wrong with that. Like, let me just say that. Don't be scared. Don't be like, oh, dream, don't say that. Like, whatever, like, get thick, eat good, you know, eat well. You know, when you can eat well, that is a sign of wealth and abundance and prosperity. So do your thing, you know? And then if you feel some type of way, go work it off later, okay? Don't be scared. Don't be acting like that. I'm. Y'all wanted to know the signs. I'm trying to let you know. Okay, you may notice the face is getting a little puffy and the stomach may be a little, you know, pudgy, but this person is still going to want you in all ways. Okay, so just stop it right now. I don't want to hear what y'all have to say about that. Okay, all right. And then... <laughs> all right, Empress is all about growth and expansion. So, you know, things could just be coming into alignment in your life where you're finding growth in your life and you're being able to expand in ways that you hadn't before. So just a very blessed, excuse me, y'all, a very blessed energy around you. A lot of blessings coming towards you, a lot of things coming into fruition for you. Maybe the stock that you invested in is going up. You know, there's just things that you're like, damn, this is really, I'm seeing growth in this aspect, okay? Okay. So there's that. And growth can be in all types of things. Maybe you do work out and you were only able to bench press, you know, 45 and now you can do 55. So that's growth right there. Maybe you were only able to um, work out for like 30 minutes. Now you're doing an hour. That's growth. Maybe you were only able to walk five miles. Now you're doing, you push an eight. That's growth. So growth in all aspects, growth in your business, growth in your um, career. Okay. Growth in your finances growth in that body, which is not a bad thing. People love to have something to grab on. Okay. Um, growth in, you know, your hobbies, your interests, growth in things that, um, take a lot of like discipline growth all around the board. Okay. All around the board. Um, what else? King of pentacles. What did I say? Those pockets about to be fat. So you, you know, <laughs> let me stop playing with y'all before y'all get me. Pac is going to be fat, among other things, but Pac is going to be fat, okay? <laughs> yeah. um, Pac is going to be fat. And then also, uh, if you're masculine, your Pac is going to be really fat around this time. So you are just doing big things and you're going to be able to take, you know, your sweetheart on some really nice dates. Now, if you're a feminine and you're being approached by a masculine, you're going to notice a sign is Mr. Man, you know, got some kind of wealth on him. How are you going to know this? I don't know. Maybe he's wearing a Columbia jacket. It is winter, right? And that's those are expensive jackets. Maybe he has a wallet that may be a little name brand on the side. Maybe the car he's driving off in is a luxurious car. I don't know. But you're going to be able to see the wealth, okay? What else? Nine of cups. Oh, I'm, nine of cups. So now y'all see what I'm talking about. You see? Y'all see what the hell is going on? So don't think I'm picking on y'all because I'm not. And it's not even something to pick on. I feel like gaining a little happy weight, gaining a little thickness in the right places is not a bad thing. So, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. And I'm just keeping it real. OK, so please. Nine of Cups. OK, Nine of Cups can talk about you just having a lot of cravings. These cravings could just be coming out of nowhere. OK, you may be ordering the same thing over and over. You may have a craving for that hood that you stopped going to years ago, and now you want it. 
you may have to go and take your ass up to Walmart before they close at 11. Dang, I wish when I miss when Walmart used to be open all nights, all hours of the night. Mm, memory. Anyway, you may be taking your ass up to go to Walmart before they close at 11, okay, and go get a snack that you're craving or maybe that's the, I don't know. So cravings all throughout your, you know, wherever in your, in your spirit, you're craving things. Also, craving sex. Sorry, I had to say it. Craving sex. You could be very horny. I'm getting that in my head right now. Also, nine of cups is also like things just going your way. Things are just going your way. Things are just falling in your lap. You're being spoiled by the universe. You could also be spoiling yourself quite a bit. So those are signs. Another sign, again, is just a very blessed one. They're just all aligning back to back justice. Justice could be like a lot of things going in your favor, a lot of good karma coming towards you. You did have a couple of rough years in the past. Now you're thriving. You're highly favored. You're highly protected and blessed. Justice can also mean people from your past are coming out the woodwork wanting to apologize to you. And you know what to do with those people. Um, you know, accept and keep it and keep it pushing or don't accept. This is your life, right? But justice, like a lot of fairness and equality coming your way, a lot of blessings, good karma, and also people wanting to apologize and make things right with you. You're going to see that. And that's when you know the new love about to come out and show out, okay? Woo! All right, y'all. That is it. That is it. That is it. That is it. Okay. I am definitely going to be taking this to an extended reading. In the extended reading, we're talking about this person's first impressions of you. We're talking about that first date. And we're also talking about the likely outcome between you and this new love. So if you are interested in that, you really enjoyed this reading and you want to see deeper about this and you want to see where this could go, then definitely follow me to the link in the description box down below that will take you to the extended reading so you can check that out. Also, guys, I know you guys seen it in the beginning, but yes, the V-Day shop is here. So go check that out. Support the channel. Support my website. But also know that I have some really fun, exciting, cute, and great quality things on that um, on my website that you can shop for V-Day. Go check it out. You might find something that you like, or maybe you'll be able to show someone else that is looking for something in particular. You'll be like, go oh, check out my girl Dream's website because she got that shit on, okay? Um, with that being said, I love you guys so much, Capricorn. Please be good to yourself this week. Put yourself first. Listen to your body, okay? Listen to your body. I don't know I'm hearing that, but listen to your body. If you need to take a break, a rest, you workaholics, then please do it, okay? Don't push yourself. Oh my God, my neighbors are arguing. Don't push yourself too hard. You know, um, you know, if you're craving something in particular, go eat it. Who cares? Okay, go eat it. Go stuff your face. Go do what you got to do so you can meet that new love. And with that being said, um, I'm going to end it here. Please make sure you guys are liking the video. It helps out a lot. Comment down below. What I want to know in the comments down below are what are you looking for in a new love? What's your specific list? Manifest it in the comment section down below. Also, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on your next Capricorn reading. I will see some of you guys in Extended. If not, I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye, Cappy.